June 14th. Get a move on. Abide in me. John 15, verse 4. In the matter of determination, the Spirit of Jesus is put into me by the atonement. Then I have to construct with patience the way of thinking that is exactly in accordance with my Lord. God will not make me think like Jesus. I have to do it myself. I have to bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Abide in me, in intellectual matters, in money matters, in every one of the matters that make human life what it is. It is not a bandbox life. Am I preventing God from doing things in my circumstances because I say it will hinder my communion with Him? That is an impertinence. It does not matter what my circumstances are. I can be as sure of abiding in Jesus in them as in a prayer meeting. I have not to change and arrange my circumstances myself. With our Lord, the inner abiding was unsullied. He was at home with God wherever his body was placed. He never chose his own circumstances, but was meek towards his Father's dispensations for him. Think of the amazing leisure of our Lord's life. We keep God at excitement point. There is none of the serenity of the life hid with Christ and God about us. Think of the things that take you out of abiding in Christ. Yes, Lord, just a minute. I've got this to do. Yes, I will abide when once this is finished. When this week is over, it will be all right. I will abide then. Get a move on. Begin to abide now. In the initial stages, it is a continual effort until it becomes so much the law of life that you abide in Him unconsciously. Determine to abide in Jesus, wherever you are placed.